Hi, thank you. Um, I started stand-up comedy as my 50th birthday present to myself. Because this is what 50 looks like. Uh, so, but, so I'm, I know you're not supposed to tell your age, but that's that white women stuff. <laughs> because if I look like the Olsen twins, they in their 30s looking like they oldest Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I wouldn't tell my age either. <laughs> so, all your life you've been told that you're PMSing, you're PMSing. So now I'm not PMSing. So that means that person really is a jerk. <laughs> but to be honest with you, when I was in the Navy, we owned our periods. That was like a get out of jail free car. I tell my chief, my ovaries is backed up. He's like, go home, go home. <laughs> so then the other thing is the angry black woman totally worked for me in the Navy. I'd be like, look, I'm PMS and I ain't come here to cuss you out today. So um, the other thing, no granny panties or period panties. Um, I can have sex all month. All right, so. <laughs> So, speaking of sex, <laughs> dating in your 50s is some bullshit. <laughs> right. Side note, you guys know about the emoticons and the emojis, right? Or as the cheering call them, the emojis. Um, why is the doo-doo smiling? You ever heard somebody say, this is some bullshit? <laughs> so, so, dating in your 50s is some bull. <laughs> right. So, um, I, w I started playing golf because I'm looking for my second husband. Or, I'm trying to put myself where he can find me. I went to this golf tournament and um, this guy called me and said, they said you weren't paying anybody any attention. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, you don't remember when that guy came and stood by you? <laughs> I said, oh, I'm gonna need him to ask me for my phone number out to dinner or something. But is this the no non-social distant COVID dating? The closer a, a guy stands by you? He trying to holler. <laughs> and then everybody gets a nickname. So it's Pinocchio, right? Self-explanatory. But I called him Pinocchio so long, I forgot his real name. So my sister, she watches these serial killer shows, so, and she remembers everybody. I was like, Kim, what's his name? So she told me. Then I thought about it. That might have not been his real name anyway. So um, then, <laughs> then there's this guy who tried to Jedi mind trick me into being friends with Benefit. <laughs> but I'm like, with that old bad sex, you just gave me who Benefit. <laughs> so um, then, but they tried to, the other thing is there's the beggar. He asked me for money and I said, you made me uncomfortable when you did that. He says, well, what if the roles were reversed? So that, that showed that he wanted to be my, um, he, he wanted to be my M Mitch. And, <laughs> and, but they're, they're falling for this it's feminism thing where the women are now buying dinner and doing that. And I'm like, no, no, no. That's that white women. <laughs> Feminism, bull. <laughs> I wrote my thesis on Islamic feminism versus Western feminism. And feminism was started with the uh, black woman in mind. And then they talk about double standards and slut shaming. And a girl tried to virgin shame me when I was in high school. She said, is it true that all black men have big dicks? And I said, how should I know? <laughs> <laughs> And so she said, are you, a, oh, are you a virgin? And I said, um, yes, I am. 
you not the cool kid out here. I'm the cool kid. I'm the reason they out here smoking and drinking, not you. So, um, <laughs> so what they said, what was that? So, so I told her that, and I was like, so go tell it to the white girl, cause the black girl ain't trying to hear it. So the beauty of it was, is I wasn't a virgin because I was, um, I was saving myself for for religious reason. I was a virgin cause I was traumatized. Cause I had a friend, she had a black eye. And I said, why do you keep going back to him? And she says, oh, because his sex is so good. I can't, he, you know, and I was like, ooh, I don't want none of that. I'm good, <laughs> I'm good. Then Eddie Murphy said, you, um, Eddie Murphy says, oh, if you, if you make a woman make a sound a bit, you can do whatever you want to to her, right? And I said, ooh, Eddie, thanks for that tip. <laughs> so years later, I'm having sex with a dude, and he said, why are you so quiet? And I said, you ain't giving me no black eye up in here. <laughs> That's my time. My name is Alex.